Hello, I'm Corey Nicole with Where's the Best TV. Oh my God, how are you today? I am doing great. How are you? I'm great. And I'm just, of course, so excited since, you know, Love Island, y'all have been trending. It's been like crazy. <laughs> like this season has been insane. So like, how do you even feel about that type of response with the latest season versus previous seasons? Um, I had a feel just based off like when I saw the Costa Girls, I was like, oh shit, like we are really going to size things up this year. Um, I had watched a little bit prior to like getting into um costs and stuff. So I was already loving it just as much as the viewers were. Um, and like hearing that we hit so many views have been crazy. Um, and it's just honestly nice to hear that everyone's been enjoying the season. Um, it's just been it's been so wonderful. And even with those responses, how do you best like deal with the different, you know, criticism or beliefs? Yeah, it's been a mix of both. <laughs> I've definitely <laughs> seen the haters will hate. That's one thing I have learned. I'm like, these yeah. people will not like, they have time. They have time to just, um, you know, say the negative rude stuff. Honestly, I just have really thick skin. Um, okay. So I like a little bit of the troll moments. I, it's hard not to laugh because I'm like, that's actually kind of funny. Yeah. Um, and so I try not to let it affect me. I'm just like, okay, like I didn't think this way about myself prior and I shouldn't think about this way after. So, um, and I was like, I was a Casa girl. I'm like, they obviously like a girl. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but on the other hand, there's been lots of positive um, comments and just people who have, you know, supported you or they're like, it's really nice. I've done a couple lives where I think people have just seen my personality more. Um, and I think that's just been really helpful. I was very plain Jane in Casa and the villa. Um, so I think just them seeing me has like kind of changed their perspective about like just who I am and uh, my personality. So there's been good support as well. Yeah, no, I'm glad because of course, I mean, I know that that can be a lot to deal with at one time because you're like actually in that moment and then you're having to deal with people's responses in real time. And I feel like a lot of people don't understand how that process works. So how yeah. was that on the flip actually being able to be in like real time and you're seeing like, okay, like this is actually real experiences. Like this is not all like scripted because I think people also have misconceptions about reality TV sometimes. So just yes. to have experience, which is overall like unique in a sense. Yeah, the experience was definitely interesting. I think you're so busy, at least I was, like, watching, watching and being such a big fan of Love Island and then finally, like, being to, get, like, be in it um, was just a whole different experience within itself. And, yeah, I guess people don't realize that, like, you are feel like everything's rolling 24 seven. The cameras are always in front of your face. I think after a while you just get used to it. Or if you're someone who enjoys being in front of the camera, like I do, I didn't really mind it. I think in a sense, like... um I think it it was just different being a Costa girl. I think that's where I held back, like, my emotion, like, just the funny, characteristical side of myself um, because of that part. But as far as, like, being in that environment and having the cameras around you and, like, doing the challenges, I thought it was really great. Um, obviously, it's, like, not your normal day-to-day -day life where you have, like, you know, people are watching you all the time. That's obviously hard to get adjusted to. But the conversations are, you know, real and natural. And you get to see, you have to spend so much time with these people that you're talking to that you guys only end up seeing, you know, what, 45 minutes of it. So a lot of it, you do build, like, deeper connections. And um, you really get to talk to a lot of people and get to know them. And I think that... Um, a lot of people don't see that, but it's it's a great experience and um, the connection and the feelings are definitely there. Um, so when people are like, oh, this and that, it's like, I'm like, you, you're they're, like in retrospect, you have no idea how much bigger it was um, in the scheme of things. And like when you're talking to people and you're spending literally 24 hours and out of 24 hours spending, you know, two, three of those, like literally conversating with someone. So um, it gets pretty deep and personal fast in there, I would say. <laughs> Do you think that there are any relationships that you built or any bonds with any of, of course, like the other contestants that weren't really displayed accurately on TV? Or do you feel like you're closer with anyone now? Or like, what do you, what do you, what do you think? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so I'll, I'll get the friendship side out of the way and then we can dive into like the whole Kenny situation. Yeah, for that's sure. something that's 
Um, but as friends, the, the me and the Casa girls, we all very much got along. They were really great. I was very much close with Sierra. That was my girl. I loved her. She was so great, so funny. She's so beautiful. Um, and I just spent the most time talking with her and chatting with her. And um, so I think we got along really well. Um, and then as far as the villa goes, all the girls were amazing. I actually ended up spending a lot of time speaking with Janae as well, um, which I'll also dive into a little bit. But when we were in Casa, I actually did have a lot of conversations with Kenny. I don't think that was portrayed. Again, I think that goes back to just how I was handling myself, which was I was a little bit more calm. And I wasn't I don't think I was giving enough drama because I feel like we were sitting down and like actually talking about real life shit and like deep stuff. And not that everyone else is deep stuff, but I think it was just like so like basic that it was like you didn't see a lot of those chats. And um, during the whole like tweet game you know ever the one of my things were oh not Catherine trying to get a last minute uh chat with Kenny to try to get in the villa I didn't even know she existed until you know that clip and that me Kenny actually spent from the moment he got into villa or into casa every day going back into the villa we actually had talked every single day wow. um yeah so whether you guys saw just a little minute and the kiss and then what me talking to him after getting that recoupling text everyone was talking to who they you know might be, be going into the villa with so i feel like that wasn't necessarily fair um we had a lot of deep conversations just about families and goals and where we see ourselves and just like becoming millionaires by a certain age and like what we want for our family our households our kids like um so when it came down to that i feel like um we really connected on a lot of levels i know family was very 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 important to us and and so i feel and like that's what like we the connection was both of course like y'all really felt that both together as well. Yes, I, mm -hmm. I did at least. Um, It kind of sucked at going on and like, you know, leaving and then seeing like some of the things that were said, like even after that tweet, he was like, well, maybe it's true. And then a conversation you guys probably didn't see is that we had talked like, right after later that night. And um, he was like, well, I don't believe that because we had so many conversations together. So it's just like one of those things where it was like, I don't know, like, I, I felt like I had a connection with him. And that kiss wasn't it wasn't for me or to like persuade him to, you know, bring me into the villa. Cause I didn't really care about that. Genuinely. I was really there for love. And so when people were like, Oh, I forgot she existed or this 15 minute thing. I'm like, babes, I barely got two. And I'm okay with that. I'm like so <laughs> fine with that. Cause I really wasn't, you, you kind of forget. It kind of goes over your head. Even the whole, you know, there's money at the end. You don't really, I wasn't focused on that. I was there to actually see if there was possibility to leave with love at the end. Um, Kenny bringing me I do appreciate that because I I thought that at some point whether it was with him like you know getting to know me further we could have found something or if it didn't I could have found something with someone else um but unfortunately that didn't obviously end up happening <laughs> and um I kind of felt a little bummed that he like brought me back actually like right at, during the recoupling he, like when Danae was pressing him about like who do you have a stronger connection with and he automatically answered her then I was like that's totally fine but why bring me into the villa unless it was just like you wanted to kind of just be secure in yourself and maybe not look a certain way coming back without anybody and she could have been standing there with someone um but she wasn't so yeah I feel like do you um, feel like he was he do you feel like he felt pressured into saying like her or do you feel like he genuinely felt like that um I don't know whether I feel like there was a lot of I feel like the men were just like shaking in their boots when they came in, not to say the least. They yeah, were for sure they were shitless. Yeah. Um you could just tell and I feel like yeah, a lot of them were were like just like giving back responses and like like bowing down at their feet, which obviously like that is your couple and like you should have maybe respected them a little bit more. Um but obviously cost is about like the whole you know exploring things and see you have another connection but um yeah I do think that the men were a little scared whether his response was truthful or it was just to give something to her um I mean that's kind of that's that's his to know yeah. you know but I went back and I saw the video of him crying about Janae leaving and I, that makes me think that yeah he did genuinely have feelings for her um also it kind of gave me the ick a little bit I didn't realize he was 
I'm like, he's not the cutest crier. I'm like, of course, I'm not <laughs> expecting you to be every time, you know, you cry or something. But I was like, okay, well, that's a little bit of a relief <laughs> looking afterwards. I'm like, um, yeah, but I honestly, I really enjoy um, Kenny and Janae and I hope that things work out for them. Um, that that's mm -hmm. another person that I really connected with. And me and Janae had actually had so many conversations that <clears throat> I don't think anybody saw. Sorry. <clears throat> no, you're like, good. Got me choking up. Um, but I mean, we had a lot of conversations where our best interest was actually just letting Kenny do what he thought was best for him. Like whether it was her or it was me, like we were just letting him like explore things and, um, just letting him go about things. And I know one time, you know, Janae and Kenny had just finished talking right before I pulled her for a chat. And she's like, we're actually just talking about you and just how genuine and nice you were. And, um, there was moments where she was like, honestly, you wanted about the classiest way in Casa and I wouldn't have wanted Kenny to connect, like have any other connection and try to explore things with anyone else other than you. Because I felt like what she had said was that we had gone it about it, like actually wanting to find that connection. Not that, you know, the way other people went about it was wrong. Everyone has their different styles of trying to explore things. But I think it was us was actually conversation after conversation, you know, a small kiss, like conversation, conversation. It wasn't like we were getting in bed and getting handsy and like jumping to kissing and like all this stuff. And he was trying to be very respectful. So we made a couple jokes about like possibly being sister wives and stuff and all that. So we, we really, I love her. She was such a big sister to me. And um, yeah, I'll just never forget our time and like our chats and experience, whether you guys got to see it or not. Um, yeah, there was definitely a lot of bonding moments with her. So that was really cool. Yeah. And I definitely feel that, of course, this is a great opportunity for fans and also other people just to get a, to know a different side of you that may not have been, you know, portrayed on TV or even knowing like, hey, like it was actually cool. Like behind the scenes, like we had these conversations, like we really had these down to earth moments. Right. And I think that overall, you seem very, you know, content with their experience and just very like comfortable with it. Like, you know, you got exactly one well, experience, of course, out of it. So do you feel that? looking back on everything would you have done it all again or how do you feel um I definitely would have done it again I think that the biggest thing like I said before was like I think I had wrapped my head like I had left to go like May 23rd and I didn't get into the villa until or into Casa until honestly I don't even know the date because we didn't know but to say the least like I was already there for like a month month and a half before even getting on the show so even when I first got there I thought I was gonna be an OG I did the whole OG interview and all that and so you think you're gonna you know go and then it was a lot of waiting and then you know right like like a week before I went into Casa then I did like a bombshell video and so I, I thought I was gonna be a bombshell and like obviously then finally I was like okay you're gonna be Casa and I think just like that's just not me I think it was hard going into it knowing that like they had already had strong couples and like I had to go in there and try to like break that barrier it's just not like my MO that's like my not my vibe and so I think like I very much separated like my fun goofy like outgoing side to like the like I'm here to find love and like it almost is like that's all I have to focus on and there was moments where I did cry a lot in my confessions because I felt like I was like why am I being boring like I felt like I wasn't showing my personality enough and that's something that I honestly beat myself up till this day mm -hmm. um and that's why I'm like I love doing this because I'm like I, people are like wow she talks I'm like I swear I did <laughs> You're like, I swear, I'm I did. like I promise <laughs> I'm usually the loud obnoxious <laughs> friends like like friend like my friends are always like you're so you're like, the funniest like all this and I just didn't do that and um I could see why they didn't give me like camera time because I was just boring like I just was like just I don't know like something in my brain just switched and like I just automatically like just put that side like off to the side and like I like it wasn't I felt like towards the end of me like feeling fe it wasn't until the end of me leaving the villa where I felt like my personality even like movie night a little bit I kind of like think that like showed my personality and um yeah, it was, I don't regret anything, but if I were to go back and, like, ever do, like, Love Island Games or another season, possibly, which I would love to, I would definitely just let loose, let myself be, you know, who I am, and hopefully I would come in at an earlier time where I felt like I could, like, explore something on my own without having, feeling the pressure of, like, 
like this person has like a basically a connection already being established yeah and like your you know life in their hands essentially of like okay like what are you going to do and all this pressure of like them having to choose somebody and I feel like my experience definitely would have been different if I had come in earlier um for sure I feel like a lot of like you know Casa more has such like a so it's so scrutinizing I feel like you know and you, then you like and then it's like bombshells are like oh my god you're just a bombshell you're here to just find love and it's like but so are we I think the only difference and you know why people don't like is because we get a week alone with the boys who have you know gotten you know time with their like, you know other partners and stuff so and they're trying to um, see like yeah if they're gonna will like slip up if they're gonna just choose they're gonna switch up so right. it's all, yeah, yeah sure. exactly so um yeah the experience was so fun and so amazing and everyone was so incredible though so besides me being boring um yeah i would I'm definitely like do boring. it again i'm sure like <laughs> people definitely resonated with you i'm sure that you like you said there's been supportive fans so of course everyone yes. is just perspective really and of course i'm sure that your fans will even love to see you on a, you know like you said in the future it could be on a different reality show you could be on the same dating show you never know we never know right <laughs> i definitely know. feel that no this was a great you know season i think that you definitely came in and you showed them for sure and you left your mark because people are talking for sure y'all are all trending <laughs> everything everybody's like that's like, show oh, the same, right any bad publicity is good publicity any publicity honestly <laughs> i'm like honestly mine is not trending for the best <laughs> um we'll just say let's just clear the fucking air right now with the whole dress and the hair slick back <laughs> because yeah like, if you want to clear it you want to clear the yes, air it's eating me up and i'm just like honestly guys i thought there was a moment there i thought i was doing my thing and uh, if that, if that is the one time I could go back and like do a wardrobe change, I would because I was eating it up all Casa. And the mm-hmm. one fucking moment <laughs> that it was like time for me to actually pop off and make my impression, I'm coming in like it's scary. It's scary. That's why I'm laughing scary. and I'm like not mad because I'm like, dude, that's actually like if that if I was watching, I'd be like, what the hell? So I get it. I'm sorry. I know it was a tragic moment. I let no. myself down. So. <laughs> It's okay. You live and you learn. I feel like I don't have a lot of like wardrobe mishaps or hair mishaps. And like, this just happens to be like the number one like time. So it's all no, good. You you are hilarious. <laughs> and I love that you have a sense of humor because you're just like, you know what? Let's just make it funny. I know. <laughs> right? I, can't, I can't be too upset. Like I said, I love a good troll moment. So I'm like, I'm kind of eating it up. I'm like, all right, yes, you guys are good. Yes. So Take that power. Be like, you know what? Yeah. Y'all are all going <laughs> to remember me. But no, yeah, I appreciate you so much for sitting down with me. Um, of course, the season has been great. I we can't look forward, of course, to what you have in the future. I'm sure your fans are like, oh, what's next? What's next? Because everybody again is just trending everywhere. But yeah. I'm just so glad to speak with you. And yeah, I just can't wait to see Thank what you, you. Have in the future. But I'm Courtney Nicole and I'm with We're Supposed TV. Thank you.